Hello, hello. So I've got another question. The question was about assembly this time and about floating point numbers. So basically very, um, one of my viewers or readers did um, write some assembly code. We are getting familiar with floating point units and well, basically FPU assembly instructions. And uh, well, they've written a program which does work, but then they tried to make it a little more fancy looking. And suddenly the fancy looking version didn't work as intended. So yeah, I've got uh, the code and let's see what's the problem there. Okay, so looking at the code, it's rather simple. There is a call to printf first, and this is well, 32 bit assembly syntax, it's Intel syntax. And it looks like, I would say, uh, Windows uh, NetWide Assembler. And the reason I'm saying that it's NetWide Assembler is that, well, this actually like the sections and so on, um, this does look like NetWide Assembler syntax, like NASP. That being said, I'm saying it's Windows because there is this underscore here before print, there is this underscore before main. So this resembles the way symbols are marked on Windows. Cool, so let's see what's happening here. Printf is called, then scanf is called, and then mm, basically, so the question is where is the number stored from scanf? It actually, oh, interesting. Mm, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to do, but um, that's okay. I mean, if you're learning, ju just learning assembly, then, then it's fine. I mean, or it's just might be a leftover from the code which was here before. So it seems that a number is being pushed on the stack and then uh, the formatting string and the number is supposed to be, I guess, uh, um, well, a pointer to some place in memory. We can, I guess, scroll down to the data section and there are four places here to store a floating point. Now this kind of actually does this, which is percentage %f, which correctly should load a floating point and store it in the place marked as number. Cool. So then it actually just prints out the number. It, what it does, it allocates eight bytes on the stack, then stores the number, well, actually loads the number into the FPU stack and stores the number there. And then it pushes the formatting string on the stack and calls printf and cleans up all this allocated previously space. This is cool and this is happening three times in a row and then we basically return which well on Windows basically uh, is a jump to exit process. Now um, these are the formatting tags we use percentage %f, percentage %e and percentage %a. So percentage %a is something I don't really use a lot. I used it once during some CTF. It's just printing the floating point as in hexadecimal format, basically. You can do the same in Python, by the way, doing uh, like some floating point number dot hex and call it as a function and you get the same output. Okay, so let's try to compile it. And I'm going to use NetWide Assembler for this purpose. Uh, long as and I'm going to do dash f win32 to compile it into the um, Windows object format. Basically, this creates a obj file or object file. And now I need to compile it. I am using a 32-bit version of Ming GCC compiler, and it actually supports this format, this input format. So let's do it. Okay, and we can run it. So okay, enter a floating point number, and um, and yeah, it works correctly. So this is the long version, and now let's look at the fancy version, which contains the bug. So I do have it opened here. Here we go. The nice version is a lot shorter, as you can see, and it also, uh, my apologies, it also contains the, well, this stuff. It's quite unusual to see this kind of bug text here. This is actually the first time I believe I see it. I didn't even know that NASM supported, but you learn something every day, right? Cool. So, um, yeah, I guess I can, I can already see the problem. The problem here is that the format, there's only one format argument in, um, in printf, right? But here the format argument are actually three, three different format arguments are pushed on the stack one after the other. So this isn't really going to work because the last format or actually the first parameter, the first formatting string is going to, well, treat both this and this formats as, which are pointers, 
to uh, as actually you know floating point numbers and this is not going to work the nice thing however is that the person totally knew that in case of using percentage f in printf you actually do have to use you actually have to put the double on the stack and not a float so you need to put a 64 bit number and this is because um, as the C standard says, in case a floating point is put on um, on the stack for, or actually is passed to a function which is uh, has an unknown number of arguments, so basically a function which is declared with three dots in the prototype, then any float has to be converted into a double. Okay, cool. So now we can actually um, well try to fix it. We can compile it and see that it displays garbage basically. So let's do, let's do the just that. I'm going to backtrack here. Nice, okay, gcc, nice, dot obj, and run it, and I'm going to put another floating number, and it actually doesn't work, and this is quite expected. Cool, so what you have to do is you basically have to remove these arguments, and you have to, well, type your formats here. Uh, well, actually, that's here. So percentage %e and percentage %a. Okay, this is not really needed anymore, and we can try to compile it again, run it. Uh, well, mm, compile it, then compile it. Then actually, the second stage is just linking, it's not really compiling, and now running it. Let's see if this works. And yeah, it works correctly. Hang on, what happened here? Actually, I compiled the correct file, but I linked not the correct file, I linked long obj instead of nice obj. Thank you to Blamedrop for actually pointing that out after I uploaded the initial recording. So I guess we have to try it again. So okay, let's try it again. I'm first going to compile the correct file again. So that's nasm.asm, sorry, nice.asm with win32 and then link the correct file this time, which is nice.obj. Let's run it and see what happens? So it seems to work, but then my just-in-time debugger pops up, which means something actually crashed, something is not working correctly. So yeah, let's try to fix it. The mistake which I made is actually rather easy. So as you remember, I actually did, um, I actually did remove a couple of pushes here, right? But I forgot to update the stack correction, stack pointer correction, it was uh, initially 36 as it's here, but I did remove two times the push opcode, um, the, the two times push instruction, which actually means I do have to decrement the 36 by two times 32 bits and make this 28. So let's do that and let's see if that works. Saving, recompiling, linking correctly this time and running it again. Perfect, nothing crashes and the application works. So yeah, that would be about it for today. An easy bug that led to a fix which wasn't really correct, but then again was easy to fix. Thank you and see you next time.